so thinking of the apple as a human, like as a person, but also thinking of it in religious context, like the forbidden fruit, the forbidden fruit to Eve. I don't know. I don't know if Adam and Eve were both told not to eat the apple. But this apple, the stem has a core connected to it that's so strong it connects to the bottom. And there's seeds in it and it has a complete torus. So Um, I've been thinking a lot about apples and pears and comparing them to people, comparing fruit to people and seeds and how their seeds or pits form. Like avocado has a seed, but the pits are basically encased like a womb over the seed. That's why it's easy to make avocado pregnancy cartoons. And so, the apple is the forbidden fruit. Because it's self-renewing without loss. And loss is pain, pain is loss. And the pear represents the woman, the hips carrying the seed. This is Adam's apple, the gift of not having the pain of childbirth and having the seeds and being able to plant seeds while still maintaining the stem. So if you compare the fruit stem to a brain stem, you have it, it goes all the way down to the spine. Your nerves link the stem all the way down to your booty. So the apple, you can just keep spreading seeds and still keep your stem. And this could actually turn into a tree whereas this stem will be separated from its seeds. You can pretty much eat a pear. That's why I've always liked pears more than apples. It's because you don't have that core that's so thick and you can just eat right through the pear, except for this little part right here. But it's like you get most of the fruit compared to the apple, but that's because the apple is trying to sacrifice itself for its seeds whereas the pear sacrif I don't know like gets rid of its seeds, sacrifices its seeds sacrifices itself for its seeds, sacrifices its seed for itself I mixed it all up but hopefully that makes kind of sense 